finding now is that uh, it is a giant hole in my business because the people that I've I've been finding w- weren't interested in doing private lending. They wanted to JV or be a partner. And that is, uh, if I can tell a sad story, that is really not the way to go. <laughs> they, I learned this the hard way that a, a good partnership is like a bad marriage. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Have you? Do you have experience in real estate? You want to unmute and, and share real quick. Hey, um, yeah. So um, it's Jerry Owens, okay. and um, I'm actually um, a uh, master of um, with Ron Legrand, and um, so I've done some fix and flips, and I've done some um, you know lease options and owner finance and subject twos, and so I have a little bit of experience um, for the last couple of years. In fact, you all actually were very helpful uh, with my very first one, you know, um, to kind of help me to see how to really work that thing, you know. Um, but where I failed was si- when I signed up for the course, uh, went started going through the course and then got caught up, you know, not finishing the course and not actually applying the, the private lender thing. And, and what I'm finding now is that uh, it is a giant hole in my business because the people that I've I've been finding w- weren't interested in doing private lending. They wanted to JV or be a partner. And that is, uh, if I can tell a sad story, that is really not the way to go. <laughs> they, I learned this the hard way that a, a good partnership is like a bad marriage. <laughs> and so, um, so I'm really now getting you know, excited about getting back on board um, and getting uh, private money to do this because, you know, what ends up happening is you find a deal, you've analyzed it, you've looked at it, you've given it the go ahead, yep, and then your partner comes in who has no concept and then wants to try to keep renegotiating it down, 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 and you're like, we, 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 we're going to make money, don't worry, and, and it, it, you have to, it's, it's a mess. So, um, yeah, so I have, as of today, I don't know if you heard my first question, the other people, but um, but it ha- that directly ties into that. Now, now I've got somebody who has, you know, backed out of a deal and, you know, you've got to pay that EMD, that uh, earnest money deposit, or do the deal. But, you know, um, so uh, well, we'll see how that goes. I'll, on the next one, I'll make sure to let you know how things turned out. Perfect. <laughs> thanks so much. So thanks for sharing. And um, let me let me jump in real quick and just say that the the first thing that Jay always teaches, mm-hmm. uh, hands down without question, is get the money first. Period. Right. Um, so we we tell all of the students that is get the money first. So I don't I don't care what kind of experience you've had. If you've done a hundred deals or if you've done zero deals, get the money first because mm-hmm. because that's. Um, the right way of doing the business. It makes things, everything else so much easier, right? So, so you know, how how do you get started with Jay's program is Jay's got a five-step process. If you don't have Jay's book, um, I highly recommend everybody here get Jay's book. Just go to jayconnor.com forward slash book. You can get it for free. There's a, you know, you pay for shipping, but you get the book itself for free. Um, and in there is this five-step process of how to raise private money. And it's just using his, his step-by-step system and process. And that's, you know, when you start with our Platinum Plus and mentorship programs, we go through that process step-by-step. The, the difference is, yes, you can do it yourself. Yes, you can um, get the home study system and make that happen. As, as you found out, Jerry, is a lot of times you get halfway through and you stop, right? Well, when you're with us and, and, and you know, Crystal and, and Jay and myself, you know, Crystal will we'll make sure you do it and she'll beat you over the head until that happens. Right. And um, we take it to that next step too. We record a webinar where where you're doing a webinar with Jay and Crystal. And then um, we do luncheons and, and, you know, we, we go through that whole process of raising private money and doing it the right way, following Jay's system. 
as you said, Jerry, Jay never partners with his private lenders, right? They are private lenders. They are silent, you know, investors in his business and they're not partners. And so we go through all that process uh, step by step. So that's the best way to get started is go through Jay's five steps of raising private money first, raise the private money and start putting in those systems to find deals so that once you find a deal, now you can go in and close with private money quickly and get the best deals. Okay. Yeah. Good. Much. I appreciate you guys. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, Claire, so I've been through working through the rest of this chat and I think I'm back down to a question and, and that is Claire said, I know I should be clear on this, but does Jay flip or do lease options or both? And in a flip, are there three times in the process that you make money or only with lease option? That's a great question, Claire. And it's okay that you're not clear on it. It's good that you ask because we are never clear until we ask all the questions that we need to ask to make sure that we've clarified. So yes, Jay does both. Um, and by that, um, I, I want to be clear. He doesn't purchase on lease options. So there's a lot of trainers out there that do sandwich leases. They'll purchase on a lease option and sell on a lease option. This is not what we're talking about. He would purchase with his private money. And of course, other terms deals, but to not muddy the water for this three check thing. He makes three checks on a flip, yes. Purchase with private money, take home a, a check because he borrowed his 75% loan to value that and has the money already in his hand for rehab and carrying costs. So it's check one. Check two is the non-refundable option fee from the tenant buyer. And check three is the actual sale of the property. When he does just a straight flip where he doesn't lease option it with a tenant buyer, there's two checks. So just to give clarity to that, that was a good question, Claire. Hopefully that answers it for you. Yeah. It does. Perfect. Very good. And I don't see other questions. Oh, I just lied. Okay, Angela. <laughs> Angela said, if I could piggyback on selling options, what is the benefit of lease option versus seller financing if you've owned for over a year? I can answer that, but do you want to answer that? No, you're good. Go for it. <laughs> okay, I'll answer that. Or do we have a student that wants to answer that? I don't know. I mean, that's an option. One of our yeah. plus members or somebody that's in here that's well-versed. Anyone? Anyone, anyone, any take? Well, I'll take a crack at it and, and you just help me to see if I'm right. I'll 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 be a bold here. <laughs> Go for it. That's so, great. Uh, let's see if the, if I understand the question, if I could piggyback on selling options, what is the benefit of lease option versus seller financing? Well, I wouldn't okay, so on a lease option, you're actually you don't actually own the property yet. Unfortunately, that means that you don't get to take advantage of uh, depreciation, appreciation, etc. Um, but the good news is uh, you control the property. Whereas with a seller um, uh, seller financing, um, basically you own the property and um, now you can take advantage of all those things. Okay. So let me ask a clarifying question. Angela, are you able to unmute for one second? Hey, Angela, are you meaning to try to buy that way or do you mean to dispossess it? sell it that way i'm talking about selling it That's like I, I have a property that i've already owned for over a year so i'm not trying to capture depreciation so much so why would i you know i'm thinking i don't need i don't need to do no, lease option for me you know i could be doing it to help somebody because they need time to be able to purchase it but why not just sell or finance it and get all of the interest over time myself so, so I, I, it's interesting that you that you asked that. Um, one, it's a great. This is a great question to identify with your attorney. Is it faster to evict someone or to foreclose? That's the first question you ask yourself. Because the nuanced difference here is when you sell on lease option, you retain the title. The deed still is. You still hold it. Your company still holds it. So I actually just like that because I got it. It's still my property. If you sell on lease option, the deed transfers. I mean, if you sell seller finance, I just slide to my, I just said that. That's what I get for talking faster than my brain can 
can spit it out or vice versa. Anyway, when you're selling with seller finance, the deed transfers, right? So I want you to be thinking of what's your best protection? What's the quickest way to get the property back if God forbid you have to? And I will also say, Angela, um, I actually, unless the process is, is not favorable for me as the landlord versus the financing agent, um, I would rather hold on to it and go ahead and still get depreciation, still get cash flow, still make the the bank at the end. So, I mean, it's really just a matter of you have to determine what's what's going to protect you best when you sell it that way. That's really the first and foremost. And then look at the financial aspect of it and determine what really is most favorable. Because private lenders don't bucket anything. If they're truly a private lender, they're there to just go ahead and they've got a nice equity cushion. They've got all their securities. They love collecting checks, so they're easy to deal with. But I do understand the want to refinance. You're just going to have to either find another company that refinances or figure out a way to get this one to, to adjust their thinking. But typically, when it comes to um, financial institutions, they are what they are what they are. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Wish I had better news. <laughs> well, that's why we work with private lenders, right? That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So, um, but if you already have a private uh, money or a private lender in there and they're looking to get the cash out, absolutely. You can find one or two or more additional private lenders to replace that private lender. So just remember, you know, we don't pool funds, right? Uh, that said, as long as we're under a certain uh, loan to value, you can have multiple lenders on a property. They just get separate lien positions. So first lien, second lien, third lien, um, wh whatever makes sense for your, your deal or your property. And, um, as I mentioned earlier, the key to this business or any business is taking action. So if you have questions, ask the questions, only take action with everything that we, you've learned. Um, go out there, talk to people, find those deals and um, make this your best year yet. We still have plenty of time. I know uh, summer's coming to an end. And you're like, oh, I got to go back, you know, the school year, all that kind of stuff. And guess what I'm telling you, you know, pick it up. Let's, you know, finish the year strong. So um, don't uh, let the end of summer pull you down. Um, use it to energize you to refocus and get going uh, to do the things that you haven't done yet this year and uh, make a difference, make an impact in your life and the lives of the people around you. So um, always stay on top of this and realize that anybody can do this business. And if you're struggling, if you're having a challenge, um, if you're having a difficult time, don't just let it all sink in and mull about it and do nothing, right? Because sometimes a confused mind ends up doing nothing. Go out there and talk to people, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help and, and get out there and start learning more and start doing more. Um, we appreciate you guys and um, we want to see all of you succeed. So... And real quick, Greg and Michelle, since you guys are there, why should people come to the uh, live event? I know you guys were at the last live event, uh, and I'm, I'm picking on you because you, I like your blue shirt, Greg. <laughs> oh, well, we've been to one in February where we signed up. We went to the one in June. Uh, just We went to the one in June to get a refresher on it, too, because we got a little slow start. But um, it's it rejuvenates you, and uh, we're Platinum Plus. And I'm not sure if we'll make October or not because we have other travel plans in September, but we may try. Um, there's just so much energy there um, that it you, it's infectious when you're there. So yeah, great networking. You right. meet wonderful people. You can ask questions, get reinforcement. Um, it's just it's just like no other. And Jake and Crystal and Jaffe, I mean, my God, they're just. Um, outstanding. They have a speaker that comes in typically, and it's just, oh, Coach David is unbelievable. Right. I mean, I, you just, you can't say enough good about it. It's just long it's days. Just, it's though. just great. We love awesome. it. Love it.
Well, you guys. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconnor.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconnor.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor. 